How you guys doing today? Today, I want to talk to you about how um, I got, we were approved, and I say we because it's me and my wife, was approved for a $29,000 credit card in six months. So it took us six months to get to $29,000 on this credit card, so stay tuned. My name is Jay, and welcome to Ask a Debt Collector. Now, I've been in the debt collection industry for over 15 years. I've done it all, from skip tracing, to collecting, to management, and I've owned two debt collection agencies. For the past eight years, I've been the go-to guy for friends and family, for questions regarding debt and credit, and now I wanna be that person for you. If you have any questions, put them down in the comment section. I promise I'll answer those questions. Let's go. So, the reality is I miss you guys. I know Monday and Tuesday there were no videos that were done at that time span. This week is a special week um, in general because it is my wife's birthday coming Friday. And so uh, we've been doing a little bit of planning and so forth with regards to that. But ultimately, there's no excuse. I will make up for those two videos. So stay tuned for that. I want you guys to understand something. And a lot of you guys may not... Uh, um, like what it is that I'm saying, but in life with regards to business, growing credit, entrepreneurship, even jobs a lot of times, there are no shortcuts. You're gonna have to work. You're gonna have to put in the work, put in the work, put in the work, the correct work, and then eventually everything starts to become easy. This is the reality. A lot of times when you see someone, a celebrity, or you see some successful entrepreneur or something along those lines, you see the glamour, right? You see all of the nice cars or the nice houses or all the stacks of money or whatever the circumstance is, but no one gets to see all of the hard work that they put in beforehand. A lot of times that being three, five, 10 years beforehand to build, to get to the place to where everything looks easy. Now with this, um, with this YouTube, I wanted to show you because I, I'm not filthy rich yet. I'm not the person with the houses and the cars and all of that type of stuff. I'm a person who was a regular person just like you who looked on YouTube, found some information with regards to YouTube and Google, which I call them my university, and learned. But one of the things that I learned during the course of this time span is I had to put in the work. I had to put in the work and then I had to put in the work longer. And then eventually once stuff started working for me, it started happening fast. And so now I'm able to tell you guys how these things happen with regards to this American Express card that we got through American Express. So as you guys know, seven, or maybe you don't know, if you're first time watching this video, seven, eight years ago, I opened a bank account with Navy Federal Credit Union. I knew back then that it was better to have a actual credit union account versus a big bank. And I've had my reasons for that, but I'm not going to get into that right now. So once I got this bank account and me and my wife got serious, so I had the bank account for about eight years, since 2013, that summer. So uh, about eight years. And I got the bank account. And then eventually I met my wife, uh, eight years ago, but we got serious probably about seven years ago. Um, and I ended up opening her up a, a, a checking account with that. I pulled both of our credits and both of our credits were horrible, but my the good thing about my wife is she had some credit established. And when I say that, an authorized user. She was an authorized user on a credit card that her mom had for 15 years plus, kept in good standings with a large balance on it. In my situation, I had less debt less debt than she had, but I had no credit established, right? And so this has started the journey of it. So through learning through YouTube University and Google University, which is what you guys are doing today, I've been able to build where I'm at today, which is a modest area. Um, but nevertheless, this is basically what happened. So with regards to building up our credit on both ends, my wife... Once I, we finally got rid of all the debt, which took us about two years um, off of our credit report. Her FICO score was always 50 to 75 points higher than mine. And it's because, especially in the beginning, it's mainly because of the mere fact that she was an authorized user on a credit card and I wasn't. And so me with the knowledge and the stuff that I knew, 
I said, you know what? I'm not going to go and apply for a credit card and get stuck with a $300 balance or a $500 balance or even uh, different than that, um, actually getting approved for um, a secure credit card. I just didn't want to go that route. And from the stuff that I learned, and for those of you who've gone that route, it's okay. But from the stuff that I learned, I wanted to try and speed up the process, right? And so with the knowledge and so forth, I figure there are... I know in the beginning I said no shortcuts, but there are some things to do with regards to expedient your um, credit profile to where you can get approved for higher credit limits, right? And that just comes from the knowledge and understanding. So my wife applied for her first credit card, which was a, a Visa credit card. Um, and she got approved for a $3,000 balance. I didn't apply for a credit card. I just bandwagoned her on with regards to that so I was an authorized user on that card that was one card that was on my credit report I got a ten thousand dollar loan a <clears throat> personal loan which is an installment loan paid that off in half the time span I think I had three years I paid it off in a year and a half and so then at that time span I figured okay I can apply for a card I applied for a card I got approved instead of the three to five hundred dollars I think I got approved for it was like fifteen hundred dollars but nevertheless we're fast forwarding so through building and scaling and understanding the credit business by this time I got a handle on that uh, situation. Still, my wife's FICO score was gonna be better than mine because she was always still that authorized user on that other card. A couple times I thought of asking my mother-in-law to add me as an authorized user, but you know I know her, but in black families for the most part, and this is just me judging because she never said it, and now I know her, she probably would have added me as an authorized user, but I just didn't as, I don't know, a man or whatever the circumstances, I just didn't feel comfortable doing that. So her FICO score was always better, right? So by this time, um, we have uh, maybe four credit cards, four or five credit cards total. Um, and the cool thing is, is I had probably about three credit cards or four credit cards at this time, and she had about three or four credit cards. And we were authorized users on each uh, of the cards. So on our credit profile, I have about seven credit lines. Three of them are authorized users, and she has seven credit lines. I think three or four of hers were authorized users. And then we, you know, so that's how we sort of kind of uh, started building. So having a significant other, having someone that you trust, um, with regards to credit as you guys are building, if you guys piggyback off each, each, each other, it'll make things a lot easier with regards to everything. So in the other video, I talked about my Navy Federal Credit Union account where I, I went from one to $19,000 as an authorized user. She didn't have a Navy Federal American Express card. She had Navy Federal Visa rewards cards and some other cards, but nevertheless, so what ended up happening is, is she was an authorized user on that 19, or before it was 19. By this time, it was probably about $10,000 credit card. And at this time, I've had the card for about two years. She's an authorized user. We're very important that you guys understand the card. We're keeping it zero utilization. We're paying, we're spending a lot of money on the card, but we're paying it off at the end of each month or before our actual due date to keep a zero utilization on the credit card. And so now, you know, at this time, we're getting approved for three, $4,000 uh, credit cards. Yes, yeah, some of our credit cards are up to $10,000, but that's just from uh, reapplying and doing credit increases. So the biggest credit card we had at this time was about $10,500. No, it was her card, $11,500. I think she had a thousand more on a Visa uh, Go Rewards card. And so by this time, the inquiries, we don't have any inquiries. I have more than she does. I think she only had one inquiry. So I'm like, okay, let's try and apply for this Navy Federal American Express credit card for her. And she's like, okay, you know, after thinking about it and so forth, she's like, okay, you know, whatever. It's pretty easy for the most part because I'm handling the credit stuff. So it's like, hey, babe, here's an offer. I'll send her the information, apply for it, and see if you can get approved. And we, she applied for the credit card, and this was probably uh, about six months ago, let's say, uh, about eight months ago total. She applied for the credit card, and she was approved for twenty-five grand. And at this time, we're ecstatic. This is fifteen thousand dollars more than any credit card that we have, and we just can't believe it through Navy Federal Credit Union. That's why it's important you build a relationship with them. So she gets approved for the twenty-five grand. And then obviously every six months we ask for a credit increase. 
we request for a credit increase and they gave her $4,000. She went to $29,000. So that's how that happened in six months, right? But you got to understand the underlaying and the undertone of everything. We've been building our credit for six plus years, doing all the stuff that we're supposed to do with regards to building your credit. And we had to first start out with cleaning up your credit. So for those of you who need a 30 minute consultation, I'm speaking from experience. There's a link down below, click that link. We can get that consultation going on. We can figure out where you're at and how we can clean up all your debt. And then from there, I have an extended situation with regards to every single person that I deal with to help you start building credit. It's one thing to clean up your credit profile, right? And to, you know, obviously get all your derogatory accounts off of your credit report, which is what I help you do. Then there's another journey, a whole second part of building out credit. And there are some tricks and some stuff that I do with regards to adding as an authorized user versus getting a secure credit card and um, or applying for a credit card and starting off low. When you have an authorized user on a credit card with some credit history, you're always going to get when you apply for a credit card, you're always going to get approved for a higher balance than you would if you started out flat. But that's one of the tricks and one of the things that we do and help you build it out. Obviously, like I told you before, me and my wife, we have over six figures of available credit. And on the business standpoint, we're building that up. And that's happening super fast, way faster than it took on the personal aspect, the personal side. And I'll probably talk to you guys more and more about that as time progresses. Put down in the comment section if you want to learn about business, building business credit. Um, and, you know, I could do a few videos on that. Now. There are a bunch of free stuff down here that's gonna help you out on a personal level with regards to building your personal credit out and paying off your old debt. There's a free pay to delete letter, there's a free goodwill letter, there's a free um, cease and desist letter. All that information is down below. Obviously, there's a free 30 minute uh, consultation, credit repair consultation. Understand that. During this time span, obviously, you will have to get a credit report. That's the best way that I'm going to be able to obviously help you out. There are a lot of companies and so forth with regards to getting that. I'll charge you only a dollar for seven days. I would send you that information for that 30-minute consultation. We go over your stuff, and I'm pretty sure after we go over your situation, I don't care where you are, and then we come up with a better plan to get you to where you need to be, you'll be very happy that you decided to do a 30-minute consultation with regards to your credit. Now understand something, you deserve the right to be approved for the credit you need and want. Allow clear and strategic credit repair services to help you out with that. If you have any questions, pin them down in the comment section. I promise I'll answer those questions. And as always, you be great.